it's been a long time coming. Well, you got the shot in the UFC, you're in, you got the win, and pretty spectacular one at that. I mean, tell us how you're feeling, you know, the overriding emotion. Yeah, I mean, talk about all the um, excitement for it well, you know, it's, it's obviously a big deal for me. It's been a long time coming, I'm not even caught for 16 months. So to come out to the UFC now, and fight after 16 months, and put on my first TPO, put on a performance to the fans, it was nice. It was usually, you know, obviously they see me wrestling, they see me getting submissions. But you know, to, um, to come out and get a TKO and a, and a, and a good fight, who's in a two fight winning streak in the FC, you know, I'm, I'm happy with that, that performance. You were hurt at one point, and can you talk us through that? How bad you hurt? Where you? Well, everyone said that I was hurt. I mean, now you say it, I must have been, you know, but I, the way I felt in the fight was to felt that I, I kind of missed my own shot and fell. But obviously, you've all said it, you've all seen it from the outside. I'm in there and I'm dealing with a lot of emotion, so it must be what happened after watching that. But, yeah, I felt, I felt fine. I, obviously, I got straight back up, and you know the grind of the end, the rest of the end, and the place where I come from, Team Carbon. It's always tough. I was going to come back. That must be satisfying to come back to you, but yeah, I, well, I know I'm fit. You know, what I mean, I know the training I do is is is, is good, and I know it's hard, and it fits you hard. If you reckon it's quicker, you recover, and you know, it felt like it was just a, maybe a flash knock down then, but. Do you think that's a real statement as well about Adnan Armani as well? To, to get a W over him, like a very, very tough fighter, everyone knows what he brings to the cage. Yeah, and that's, and that's a tough fight and that's never been finished, I don't think. If, if I remember rightly, I don't think he's been finished, but yeah, now it's um, been a two fight winning streak in the UFC. And, and I've just beat him on my debut after not fighting for 16 months, so I think that's, uh, you know, that's, my, my, that's my fight myself. That's, uh, How was the run up to this fight? Because obviously Darren Till was campaigning for so long to get you into the UFC. Did you feel any pressure or did you enjoy this moment? Um, you know, with so many people knowing your name because of Darren Till? I enjoyed the moment. You know, the support's been fantastic from everywhere. Uh, I've not really had anyone say anything bad about me. I've not really had any messages saying any bad. You know, I've not got any haters just yet. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll get some, but you've got to have some haters, haven't you? But I haven't, got, I haven't had any. And, um, you know, I'm grateful for that. I, was, I didn't, I dealt with all the pressure well, I felt. You've competed all over the world. And you've competed in a variety of disciplines, but well, the feeling of walking out into the UFC octagon in London on Friday night, is it comparable to any of the other things you've done, or is this going to stay with you? This is, the, this is the biggest thing I have done. But you know, I've obviously done things that kind of lead up to this to help me get this experience. And obviously I've walked out into um, championship fights with Darren Till, and I've always talked about the step and thought, you know, what would I, how would I feel if this was me? When there's, Thousands of grand fans screaming for him and stuff. I felt how would I feel, and you know what? I felt I felt like I belong here, and I think I proved I belong here. The performance for sure showed him a guy with absolutely no octagon jitters and nerves. You looked like you you looked at home in the cage. Is that how it felt? Yeah. Well, I think octagon jitters are just a mindset, and I know I've got a really strong mindset, so I know I can walk out there and perform. Given that it was your debut, and you know you want to impress, you want to make a statement on your debut. When you rocked Naramani, and one of the things that impressed us in the room when we were watching the fight back was the fact that you didn't just go crazy and dive straight in when you saw that he was rocked. You sort of kept your distance and picked your shots really well. Talk to us about your mindset when you realised that you had Nag rocked and how you went about sort of actually piecing the strikes together and getting him finished. Yeah, I, I've always, I suppose I've always envisioned it. I, what, I do, what would I do if um, this was happening? And um, I always knew I'd stay relaxed and stay composed and finish the fight. But I know part, a lot of people uh, have said, why well, did I not push the takedown more? Because I didn't, I didn't even, the first round, it was just towards the end of the second, first round that I pushed the takedown. But, um, you know, the truth is, is, is I, I, told my, I told my hamstring two weeks ago, I was to to um, hamstring to her, and I was never going to pull out this fight. So, the thing that did my hamstring was, was a rest of, was when I was wrestling. So um, after that first take then I felt my hamstring. So that's why I probably stood up a little bit more as well. So I was a little bit hesitant when I take down. So I've not even had, to, had the chance to show my true wrestling tonight. I got one take down, but I've not had the chance to show my true wrestling and there's a lot more to come with that. British wrestling, sorry, British fighters, they've got a reputation overseas as Brits can't wrestle. You're, you're the sort of shining example. That's why I'm here. Yeah. That's why I'm here. Because I'm going to show them and I can wrestle and I, I, can, I can compete with these American guys who's at the top and that's what I want. What would you like to do? You know, I'm gonna, I've, I got married a few weeks ago so I'm going to go on um, have my honeymoon. I sent my wife on her honeymoon, I think she deserves it. It's took me a long time now. So I'm going to go and enjoy that but I'm the kind of guy who's going to, who's going to have a quick turnaround and I, I fight whenever. And um, you know, if the UFC call until there's, there's kind of 
polite in a few weeks and uh, be your yeah. sure walk up. I'm ready for it. And that's the way I am. Do you have any names in mind? No, no names in mind just yet. I've got to probably um, tally up some wins and then I can maybe start calling these top guys out. But one of my goals is, you know, to get to the top ten as quick as I possibly can. Hopefully this year, early next year, that I want to be in the top ten. But your teammate there, speaking of, you know, your teammate Darren has made that run pretty quickly. Are you going to try and kind of follow those, those shoes, get those big fights in quick, so that you're challenging for a title within 12 months? Of course, yeah, yeah. I want to be, um, I want to be getting to them top guys as quick as I can. You know, like I said, I'll fight anyone. Being in the UFC is one thing, but I think I feel you get in the UFC, you've got to prepare to fight anyone. So they tell me to fight, you know, whoever. In the next short, I'll find you know, and that's the kind of guy I am. Are you going to be in Darren's corner for the main event? I am going to do in Darren's corner later on, so I'm going to go and chill out now. Go get in that green room, hope there's some good food in that green room, and then I'll, um, I'll be out with Darren later. Have you, have you met with Darren since your fight? Since my fight, no. He's obviously just going to be calling my coach, he's gone straight back to him, he's going to come back soon, but I've seen him just before my fight. You know, he's in good spirits and he's, he's looking well. But I started the show and I feel it was a good performance, he's going to finish it. Mike, you come from a very well-developed, regulated sport in uh, wrestling. How much further do you think MMA can go in the UK specifically with better regulation and more development? Yeah, I feel it can go a long way. And like, I've got kids at my club uh, who are doing MMA, doing wrestling, jiu doing everything, and they're coming through now from like 10 year old to the young age. And you know, it's going to develop very quick. I think. I think there's some of these young ones that's coming through. It's going to be unreal. So I think, yeah, there's, there's a lot of lot of room for improvement. Are there any specifics that you think are required in terms of like, government input and government recognition? How much that could help as well. Obviously, you know, the real set, especially for the younger ones doing it, it's got to be got to be monitored. You know, it's got to be body shots and stuff. But yeah, I think a governing body in, in the sport would be nice to have. Thanks. Congrats. Thank you.